six, the cruise show. Man, we've got George Burgos here, and of course, my friend Gilbert Saldivar in the building. What up? What up? What up? Hey, what up? man, you guys are working on this new project. Let's talk about it. Shine. So we're really excited. This uh, this Friday hits theaters. Shine. It's a project. It's a ten year project. So wait, it's a ten year project. The ten year project that Tony, the director, started ten years ago with a short called Mano, uh-huh. very similar storyline. And then two years ago, I was brought in. Gilbert was brought in. Um, probably a little bit earlier than that. I was a late one, the latest person to get brought in. And then two years later, we're here, um, October 8th, October 5th, this Friday. It theaters, hits theaters. Nationwide. Can you tell everybody a little bit about, you know, what the movie's about? So basically, we play brothers. Uh-huh. Um, I'm the younger brother, the hothead. Um, we are the famous, you know, popular salseros in the neighborhood, Spanish Harlem growing up. Our father, played by David Zayas, is a musician. And he has this dance studio that we grow up in, along with uh, our love interest, Kimberly Flores and Jari Colado. Um, so we are separated by a tragedy uh-huh. for about seven years, and then we find ourselves on the opposite ends of gentrification in Spanish Harlem. Wow. Yeah, I'm the, you know, the the... Black Panther type, like, I'm going to save it, I'm going to save the right? hood. And then the older brother is working to build over basically the legacy that our father created. So we're doing this through the film. So throughout the film, you guys are butting heads. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like Latinos, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. It happens. But it's a, it's, it actually turns out to be a beautiful story because it reminds you that family is all you got sometimes and that together you are stronger than divided. Right. And it's a, it's a beautiful story revolved around salsa and amazing salsa music, Fania Catalog, Mark Anthony, um, Romeo Santos, incredible soundtrack. You're going to love it. Um, but it's a story that's really necessary right now, especially for Latinos. Why is um, that? Tell, tell me why. It's, just, it's a story about inclusion. It's a story about your voices being heard, about people. Yes, gentrification is happening. and It, it can is. Happen it's happening in my own neighborhood. Exactly. And we, and we uh, accept that and embrace that. But listen to what we feel. Listen to what it feels like when you shut us down, when you move us out, as opposed to include us and keep our colors Keep right. our music, keep our food, you know, keep the essence of what this neighborhood, any neighborhood that's being gentrified actually is and what the people actually want. You know what I mean? That, and I think Shine does a, a great yeah, job. I think of that. that's that's the beautiful union is basically finding that un, uh, that unifying factor within the power of family. Latin music, Latin dance, and bringing those two worlds together. Obviously, gentrification is affecting everyone, but in this movie, we utilize those three main components to bring those two worlds together. And you, it's just you, a beautiful combination. I, I've seen a, um, there was an LA influencer that actually did a post about gentrification, and she actually broke down and cried. And she said, I know it's hard for you guys because you're getting offered three times the amount for your home, what mm-hmm. it's worth, but don't think that developer isn't turning around and making a five time profit off right, of it. Sure. Right, right, right. So they're saying, even though the money's tempting, please hang on because it's bigger than that it's it's our culture it's in the neighborhood you know yeah. Yeah. And do you, would you what's agree crazy, with that what's crazy is that gentrification hit us you know not even through the movie but there's a, a cafe in the movie that we use throughout yeah. the scene um throughout the movie that right. actually after the movie stopped that one went under through gentrification are you serious they came in they took over they um they pushed them out and it was a cafe that is very very uh premiere to that to that area and it's the cafe right across from the, that the big mural. mural in the film yeah when oh, you see it you'll man. see it so we shot a lot of our scenes a lot of our really key important scenes right there in that corner and then to go back later and to see it not there was was you know Mind blowing, yeah, yeah. It really heart wrenching. It's why this film is important, yeah. you know. Make sure you guys all go out and check this out. Hitting theaters this Friday. Now let's talk about the salsa. You know, I know you're both dancers. Yeah, yeah. I see you everywhere, I- Gilbert. <laughs> I love seeing you everywhere. Yo, but I'm not a salsa dancer. That's the worst part. So I how lying, you are lying. though, right, George? You're, you're a salsa dancer. Yeah. So I mean, was it was it a lot of work, a lot of rehearsals, like? Yeah. Well, I mean, I wish I could say there was a lot of rehearsals, but there wasn't a lot of time. Um, you know, we we were it, it was we're, it was crunch time. You know, yeah. right. we had a, we had a, a few days to get ready, and this is a, a balance between everything: dancing, acting, and then go right into it. Gilbert did amazing. Don't let <laughs> don't let him. Talk. Were you nervous though when you were like, "Oh amazing. my god, hold up, I, that I don't know how to do." Yo, when I walked into the room with these people and they're like, "Oh yeah, on the two. and I'm like, "What you talking about?" They let the one and the five count go, and you wait for the two and the six. Then that sound crazy. Yeah, it does like, it sounds it. bananas. <laughs> the reality is, you know, we're all we're all um, street dancers. You know, right. we all, my mom taught me how to dance. Obviously, he's learned. He he knows salsa, meeting everything. There's just a structured method into this new this new world that's called on two or mambo. 
level where they dance on a specific count. Right. He had to learn that. <laughs> and that was the challenge. But the turns and, and the material, he picked that up pretty quickly. Other than that, he, he was a natural from yeah. the beginning. I was safe though. I had uh, Charlie Garcia was by my side. He's this young salsero, just Fred Astaire of salsa, I call him. You know, right. he's just a, just a beast. Uh, Charlie a Garcia and then uh, Grisel, known as the Mambo Diva. I had a scene with her and she kind of took it, took me in and trained me and kind of like turned me on to it. Does it make I'm, you a little nervous though when you're like, this is like the Mambo Queen well, right here? Like, are, No, no. No, it, at no, all? No, well, because I'm used to dancing with these huge pop artists, so I recognize... Excuse the, me, Jennifer no, 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 Lopez, no, 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 no. Christina Aguilera, <laughs> let's go into it, No, yes. I, I recognize the energy and yes. so I, that, that's where I feel safe. You know what I mean? It, you know, it, it's all synergy, you know, mm -hmm. in, in, in like the ending dancing in the film. 100%. It's one big room of people sharing energy you know what i mean and you just kind of float and you vibe off of that same cloud you know right so being with being with heavy hitters i felt safe oh, i think everyone was just really on, a, on a, just an ultimate high because i believe that this dance community the salsa world the bachata world had been waiting for something like this to happen right so there wasn't so much nerves it was just absolute excitement and balls to the wall just let's just, let's get it done so the dancing the energy the music was just so amazing and to be around all these people was very 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 exciting oh man well i read somewhere george that you uh it was between baseball and salsa dance. oh yeah yeah um so i went to i went to college on a baseball scholarship right. baseball was my life all since my mom put a bat in my hands when i was four years old favorite team oh i don't have favorite team but uh, i have favorite players okay oh, okay okay players. astros um, right. astros uh, oh, Astros. There you go. <laughs> so I will say that currently right now my favorite uh my favorite player is Javi Baez. That's why I'm rocking the, the Right, team, the exactly. Team, team Puerto Rico hat. Um so yeah, I just I was put in this position where I went out to a club, saw these uh, these two girls dancing. I really enjoyed their style and I kind of approached it where I was like, you know what I want I want to learn that and once I start something I just um Put your mind to it, I you're good, yeah. Mind. And that was the the decision I made. I said, you know what? I'm gonna attempt this whole dance world. Baseball is always gonna be my first love. There's just too many politics in that for me to, to commit my life to that. And I just I did the same for baseball and or the, for dancing and I'm look here. where you're yeah. at now. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, really has right. flourished. I guess it worked, huh? Yeah, yeah. it definitely worked. <laughs> sure. Now you guys play brothers on screen. Like, how did you build that bond before? You know oh, what I'm that saying? Was amazing. Tell me about that. No, nah, I mean, is that a lot of partying, uh, a lot of late nights? What's going on? No. Come on, <laughs> no. come on, <laughs> Gilbert. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> Don't no, hold back. You know, uh, the director Anthony Nardolillo did a great job of setting us up in an apartment together in New York. Mm -hmm. So we lived together that whole Wait, time. Wait, what? You had to live together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it was, crazy. It was the best thing that he could have done because 100%. we instantly became brothers. We started opening up about you know uh, families and stuff, and we have a really interesting um, source. Uh, for oh, yeah. what happens in the film, the, the, the tragedy that happens in the film. Uh, George actually lived it with his brother. Mm -hmm. So oh, one, wow. of, one of the things that happens with he and I, uh, we pretty much spoke about what it felt like for him to go through it with his brother, and we used it. It was actually... The first no, it was day. it was amazing. I mean, I think without without giving away yeah, because I want to know, but I now away. I'm gonna go for watch sure. the, the yeah. movie so um, I can find out. You know, that, definitely, that source is my brother for sure. A lot of uh, my my is especially when it comes to the relationship between me and Gilbert. Gilbert did amazing in tapping into that, and this being my debut, my acting debut, um, he just did an amazing job utilizing those tools that I needed to kind of carry me through this whole process. But I think living together truly, I I don't even know how how else it would have been if we weren't in that situation like I don't I it's don't... almost like a bond that can never be broken yeah. anymore yeah, you know no. what I'm saying yeah it was perfect just going into that apartment and saying from day one to the the, the last day we were living together we truly like Gilbert said we, we became brothers off screen and that before and then we just carried that onto the big screen who's the messy one Messi? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 yeah, it's Gilbert. It's in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to living at a hotel, so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's is. funny, though, because um, before they cast it, because you got casted really, like... At I the, was three weeks prior. Three weeks prior yeah. at, on Clutch. Oh, my and, God. And, and, and it's was, just crazy how things happen. So yeah. everyone, everyone had their roles. There was just not Ralphie. And Anthony was stressed because it was, you know, he had already set up when it was going to shoot. And so he started to ask me, like, yo, do you think you could prepare the older brother role? And I was like, uh, I had already been invested in Junior. And uh, right. and I was like, I'll do whatever you want. But something in my spirit said, I'm Junior. And there's a Ralphie out there. And then within like a week or two, I telling yeah, Tony so that he found. It was three and weeks. And how, how did he find you? Funny how did that story. go? So he, Tony went to a, a dance event in D.C. to continue promoting the Kickstarter um, for the movie because he was still raising funds for the movie. 
he went to an after party, which I was emceeing. I was hosting an after party for my my best friend. It was his birthday. Right. So I'm emceeing. I have the mic. You know, I have, there's drinks and everything. And he just loved my energy. He loved how I was dressed. So he came up to me. He was like, hey, can you audition for a part? Have you ever acted before? I said, no. Would you? Of course. Here's a, here's a script. Three days later, he came to my hotel in L.A., auditioned me in my hotel room. And I got the part. Wait, 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 wow. wait, wait. Wow. But let's not forget, he's the like infamous bachatero. I don't know if you know that. Like, <laughs> oh he's, my he's, well, yeah. he's everywhere I go with him, it's like, oh my God, Ataka. <laughs> have you, have you heard that's my stage name. Ataka, right, right, right. Ataka y la Alemana, you've never heard him? They, you get, they got like millions of views so on I, YouTube. I, I believe it. I'm <laughs> yeah. not a, I don't know how to bachata. For sure. My rhythm's not that dope. <laughs> we cumbia, though. We cumbia, though. We right? cumbia <laughs> all day, yes. But I will learn. Yes. I will learn. And I'm sure I will be so invested in this movie coming out this Friday. Oh, yeah, man. So yeah, that's how he found me, and I, I was, it was and just a blessing. I was in the right place at the right time, and I'm just really happy to have worked with these amazing people. It was a great experience. Gilbert's amazing. He's nah, been truly, truly, around truly. the world. It's, it's just crazy. Dancing for Jennifer. I'm doing Christina now. I'm on yeah, tour with I saw Christina that. Now. I follow yeah. you on Instagram. We, did, we just started. Yes, so. I'm just like, wow, this guy is everywhere. Man, you got to. When, I when, know. When Congratulations God puts it in front on of you. all that. Thank you so much. And, and the way that things happen for you, and, and how it just happens so mm -hmm. fast sometimes. You know what I mean? It's a blessing, and you were at the right place at the right time, and it, truly it was. was meant to be yeah for sure. you know is there any other projects that you guys are working on right now i know you're going on tour anything else that that we need to know about to look you know for in the future uh well i mean he kind of mentioned it you know I, I have a life outside of the the acting world which is within me and my partner we are uh the top bachata couple in the world oh, um man. so if you look so we travel every single weekend i literally just flew in from barcelona last night and then I'm here for this. And, and you don't continue. look tired at all. <laughs> yeah, fresh my face body's, and everything. My body's on cruise <laughs> trip, so I'm used to it. <laughs> so really, that's what I do. I do that on a weekly basis. I do that on a, on a weekly basis. I travel every weekend um, to dance events all over the world. And I think that's why this movie is so, so key, is that people need to understand that what you're going to see in this movie is literally worldwide. Like, yeah. there is a dance event, Salsa and Bachata, in every single Every weekend, somewhere around the world. Asia, Japan, Korea, um, Mumbai, uh, Australia. It literally is. Every single weekend, there's a dance event promoting salsa and bachata everywhere in the world. Traveling and, and just going around the world and, and just, you know, who you are in this in this dance world. Like, how do you stay grounded? You you're, know, I, you're going from, like, country to country yeah. and, and I, state to state. I mean... I think, I, you know, I, I have to give one to my family. Obviously, my family keeps me very, very, you know, uh, grassroots grounded. But I have to give a lot of uh, a lot of love to, one, my, my wife, who's my dance partner, and two, my business partner, uh, Rudy Lopez. So Rudy Lopez and Tanya Kensinger, those are my business partners, and those are the ones that really keep me I sane. love that you dance with your wife. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, awesome. and he, uh, but does it get Shout tough out. sometimes because you're like, oh, you know, sometimes <laughs> wifey's can't take nah. that criticism we get a little upset yes 100% it's tough you know I we've been together now for 10 years and we've been together 24-7 7 days a week for the entire process so obviously you guys can imagine that's pretty difficult right. but uh, we have the, this this bond and this chemistry and this connection that um, that just has always just allowed us to get to the place where we're at. You'll so she, <laughs> yeah. so she, so she keeps me very grounded. And then obviously my best friend Rudy Lopez, who my other business partner sees when uh, when we're stressed out from these dances and and these you know congresses, he just evens it out. He levels us out and he just keeps us you know. And we keep oh that's each other. dope. Shout out to Rudy. Yeah, yeah. No, we we the three the trifecta keep us. Always focused on longevity. Yeah. Right. Longevity. And what's important right now is just time. Just enjoy the time that you have and that's it. And that's why we can do this every single weekend. This right? is your this is your acting debut. How what did your wife say? What were the words of encouragement? She loved it. Yes. Uh, she um she was one, she was excited she was excited for me to be working with people like Gilbert, Kimberly, David Zayas, Ashley uh, Alicia Rayner. Um Tony is an amazing director. Tony yeah. is an amazing And he's director. also debuting. The director's also debuting. Oh, that's yeah, so yeah, cool yeah, yeah. though, because so. it seems like the chemistry was just perfect on set. It really was yeah. we all know each other you know especially like uh the the cast a lot of them are in the dance scene mm -hmm. so we know each other but um shout out to my wife tanya kensinger she really really was my my support system i actually had to cancel almost a month and a half of events oh. because I had to, it was like last minute so she went to every event by herself like a boss that's and right yeah. and she held it down and she yeah get it girl <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm single. <laughs> I'm yeah, but you know what is so funny is that every girl that knows that I know him, they're all in love with Gilbert. What's that? Uh, all, yeah, all the girls are like, oh my God, you know him. He's so cute. No. Oh, I love him. But I think it's the same thing, though. Like, the reason why I'm touring... I I want to pursue an acting career 100%, but Christina Aguilera has been like family since day one. I, right. I, I toured with her 16 years ago. So for me, kind of similar to what you're saying, mm -hmm. um, you kind of... You 
at this at, at this point in the game, you kind of choose your circle as opposed to just falling into them. Right. And I think that's what keeps you safe and keeps you grounded. The people that bring that ego back down when you may be floating up there, and then people that keep you together. He kept me together. He was like, that's why he became my brother because I'm 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 all over the place. Everybody knows my mom's always like, slow down. But he the the reason why the the dynamic between older brother and younger brother is perfect because he's very everything is put together everything is structured and and that's how that's how it works i got a little ocd i'm a little yeah, that's OCD. how i'm it, ocd <laughs> like I'm super ocd, OCD. So, <laughs> yeah. so ocd needs add to yes to, you know, yes yeah. no Seriously. for real you know? and, and when you guys moved in together like were you able to slow down a little bit just to concentrate on that role and well, that we character we yeah had, well, we, yeah, had we had to uh, but, but yeah. what would your wife say i would have been like wait wait, wait a minute you're, you're you're living she came to visit us though. no no she, she yeah she yes she literally would say she said go like a hundred percent both Tanya and Rudy from the jump as soon as uh, Tony says you have the part they said don't worry about us we got you that's awesome yeah. like it was full support from the beginning and yes she came to visit us this dude killed it though like for it being the first time this dude literally killed it like we were all like damn this dude I mean you the camera loves him he's got great vibe it reads on camera like it was dope. It, it was was dope. it was it hard because you you tr you know you're normally dancing and right and acting can be very different. You know what I, I tell people transition. all the time is that because I uh, I specialize in bachata and and the one thing that that I'm known for is is my connection with my partner and really just kind of building a chemistry because obviously bachata is very sensual and sexy, and my partner and I are really. Um, Really good at making people fall in love when they see us dancing. Too. <laughs> that's, that's what you're gonna call. It. Um, yeah. So I carried that because you have to understand when I social dance, when I dance with random people, they want me to do that with them. So in a sense, there's a sense of acting already happening. I need to make them believe and feel like they're my Tanya. Right. So I've been. I don't know why, but my dancing and on stage and performing has truly helped me. So I felt very comfortable behind the screen. It just seems like it comes natural to but you. But it did come natural. But I will say without my cast and without my director like uh, I wouldn't have done the, what I've done they directed me they motivated me they guided me they helped me they coached me every single one of them and we oh. had uh, his love interest Kimberly Flores uh she beast. was pretty much our, she was pretty much our, our acting coach on set because she had just oh, wow. yeah. she had just graduated um, from acting school and she just you know she just knew that we were green because I haven't studied a lot either I've had I've landed projects in between dance gigs but I'm also a very green actor and I think she just stepped in and kind of she was our and, coach. and I, I guess I don't see that with you because I just see you everywhere always on stage always doing something so yeah I guess this would be a little bit different for you yeah it, yes. I mean, it, it's my first lead role in a project it's the first time I have to usually I just show up on on a project and I'm like shooting somebody or stealing some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they do yes, it. You know how they yeah. do us. Um, but this is the first time that you know that the role goes like this. You know, and you, uh, you'll see. Definitely it, shout out to Kimberly Flores because oh, she she, yeah. she obviously saw that Tony was a mile a minute all over the place. So whenever he couldn't necessarily devote a lot of time to to focus on our coaching and our acting stuff, she stepped in and she really guided us and challenged us when it came to our lines, our scenes, yeah. and all of that stuff. Talking so. about the women in our cast, you're going to love that. Ooh, Such really? a beautiful cast of the women that you don't see beasts. on them. Yeah, just beautiful brown women up there. You I know love I mean? that. I love yeah. that. We need to see more Latinas on the big screen. And Shout the out fact to Kimberly Flores and Jali. And the fact that it's all like, you know what I mean, Latinos. You yeah. know what I mean? It, yeah. it, it had to be somewhat of a comfort too you yeah know? definitely definitely it felt like home and i think uh again another reason why this film is so important we saw the the successes of crazy rich asians and we saw the successes of black panther and this film stands um the ability to be that for us you know what i mean because it's an all latino cast telling an amazing story around amazing music so the only thing we need is bodies in those seats to where make did, that where does the story take place at it's spanish harlem in uh in new york, in new oh, york. New york? Yeah, yeah, okay yeah. cool yeah. oh only, man only or do we 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 Bronx. travel we travel I mean we're all over New York yeah, so yeah. you know it's just kind of based in uh, in Spanish Harlem but we did things in Queens we did things in the Bronx we did things you know kind of all over the yeah. place oh man well congratulations to you guys both like I'm definitely gonna check it out now nice. this Friday. Make sure you guys hit the theater. Shine, 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 shine. And of course, they can follow you guys on social media. Yeah, so my, my individual is Gilbert Saldivar. But if you want to follow the film, you can follow Shine Film 2018. Oh, there it is right yeah. there. And mine is Ataka Oficial. And then obviously, yes, definitely follow the Shine Film 2018. I need to learn bachata. And today's I got you, boo. I need to learn it. Today's our LA premiere, so it's a big it's oh, a, it's a, it's a big it is. Oh, Tonight God. is a big For night. us, for I mean, I auditioned for the film four years ago. For Tony, it's like 11 years in the making when he's a really special director. Yeah. 
yeah. Man, really this is icon. awesome. Yeah, this he's been awesome. grinding for 11 years just for this project. So. Man, well, congratulations to you both. I Thank mean, you. traveling the world and Gilbert, you've done so much and you really represent Latinos out there too. And Thank I you. just, you know, I just want to say, man, I Likewise. You. Yeah. You killing it too. I Likewise. Okay. Listen, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Table right yeah. It's all love, baby. It's all yeah, love. It's taking over. Come on, <laughs> six. Let's go.